Hola, hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On today's video, I'll be reviewing the new film, Madame Webb with Dakota Johnson. I was not really familiar with Madame Webb. I thought she was part of the Peter Parker universe, the Spider-Man universe, but apparently she has nothing to do with him. At least in this movie, she has nothing to do with him, but according to the Marvel comics, if you go on the Marvel website, to read about her background, she does know Peter Parker and she is part of the Spider-Man world. But for this movie, for Madame Webb, she has nothing to do with him and she's not, this is a completely different universe. It's actually not the Spider-Man universe. How would I say it? The Spider-Verse? This is, no, it, it is a completely standalone world. It's oh, so Adam I shouldn't Webb's use the world. word spider at all. No. Nope. Madame Webb was produced by Sony in association with Marvel and it was directed by S.J. Clarkson, who has directed tons of TV, but this is her first feature film, so this is her, this is her feature film directorial debut. The movie stars Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades of Grey. She plays the lead, Madame Webb, Cassandra Webb. Uh, the movie also stars Sydney Sweeney as Julia Cornwall, Isabella Merced as Anya Corazon, and Celeste O'Connor as Maddie Franklin. All three of them are supposed to have spider abilities as well, but not in this film. They're supposed to get them in the future. The plot of the film reads as follow. Madame Webb tells the standalone origin story of one of Marvel Publishing's most enigmatic heroines. The suspense-driven Thriller stars Dakota Johnson as Cassandra Webb, a paramedic in Manhattan who develops the power to see the future and realizes she can use the insight to change it. Forced to confront revelations about her past, she forges a relationship with three young women bound for powerful desires, if they can all survive a deadly present. I don't know why they say um, it's a suspense-driven thriller. It was not that thrilling, and it was not really that suspenseful, to be quite honest. The film opened to terrible reviews with a 13% Rotten Tomatoes score, and some call it the worst movie of the year. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. It's only been seven weeks into the new year. So to call it the worst movie of 2024 is a bit of a stretch, but is it that terrible? In my humble opinion, which <laughs> means nothing, but I didn't think it was the worst movie. I've seen a lot better, but to call it the worst, I, I don't think it was that bad. I feel like it was a very forgettable origin story. It was kind of bland and boring. Uh, it was entertaining in some parts, but overall I thought the movie was just bland uh, and not that exciting or thrilling. I went into it thinking this movie was gonna be full of action and that these girls are gonna be kicking ass and fighting crime, dressed as Spider-Man or Spider-Woman, and they're gonna have all these Spider-Man abilities, but that's not what I got. That scene in the trailer where the three girls are dressed as Spider-Woman and they're fighting somebody, that's pretty much the only time you see them doing that. That's the only scene in the whole movie where they're fighting. It's just like a quick one minute scene and it's a flat, not a flashback, but the bad guy has a vision uh, that these three girls are going to kill him. And the, the whole point of the movie is that he wants to find these three girls before they get their uh, powers and they, before they try to kill him. So he's trying to get rid of them and kill them in the present time. So that scene in the trailer, that's his vision that we see in the movie. The movie did leave me with a lot of questions. Well, not a lot, just a few. First, the movie opens in the Peruvian Amazon. Um, Dakota Johnson's character, Madame Webb, her mother is pregnant and she's, uh, she's doing research for this spider that has healing abilities, but it's like the poisonous spider that gives you powers. And Ezekiel, I think that's his name, who is the bad guy in the movie is with her. He's, he, um, he started working with her during her trip to protect her, but he's really trying to find the spider himself because he wants to get the powers. Anyways, the, Loki. 
The mom finds the spider, the guy shoots her, Ezekiel the bad guy, and he steals the spider. And she gives birth to Madame Webb, Dakota Johnson. However, there are these people called Las Arañas, which means the spiders. Uh, so they're like Amazonian spider people and they have spider powers. So I wanna know how they got the powers, I guess cause they live in the Amazon with the spiders, but I would like a little more backstory on them. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a movie with spider people that Las Arañas call Las Arañas. So Marvel, please get to it. So they help the mom give birth to Madame Webb. Dakota Johnson, and the mom dies giving birth. Now, these people have the baby. How did they get the baby to the United States? I guess they call the embassy, but they live in the Amazon, and I don't know if she, I'm going too, in, <laughs> too deep into this. <laughs> it doesn't matter how they got the baby. Somehow the baby made it to New York, and she grew up to be Dakota Johnson. <laughs> she got into the, what didn't the mom have like family? Why did the mom, the kid, have to be in the foster care system? Because Dakota Johnson says she's in, she grew up in foster care. I don't know. I'm thinking too deep into this. <laughs> I think this is one of those movies where you shouldn't think about anything. Just enjoy what they give you. <laughs> so, but it did leave me. What? What's my other question? My next thing is the three girls. One of them is Spanish. She's a Latina. Why is her backstory that her parents, her dad got deported? Why? <laughs> I thought we moved on. I thought we moved past this, these stereotypes, Hollywood. You know, I would have accepted that he was in jail. I would have accepted that better than him. He was deported like six months ago. It's not really explained how these girls get the powers in the future. They just become spider, uh, spider women, but it's not really explained how they got the powers or even hinted. The visions only show them being like fighting crime and just being badass spider women, but it doesn't show how they got the, how they got the powers. Maybe that could have been how he could have not killed them and he could have found out how they got the powers and I don't know. Again, I'm just thinking too much into this movie. <laughs> don't question anything, just enjoy it. Another question that I had while watching this movie, the bad guy, he has these visions of them that he keeps getting them of like him being killed by these three girls. And in the visions, they have masks. And he has this girl who helps him track them down. She, uh, you know, she, they get all the CIA surveillance equipment and she's helping him track down. And somehow he described them perfectly to the T and she came up with a drawing that were the exact three girls. I was like, how, how, because even, I don't know, AI, I guess again, why am I asking these questions? <laughs> Overall, this movie, this movie was just a bland and it was just okay, you know? I wouldn't call it the worst movie of the year. I've seen better, like I said, but I feel like it's one of those movies that you can just wait for it to go to streaming. I wouldn't go out of my way to go see it. I saw it today, today is Sunday. It came out Thursday night. I was actually planning on seeing it Thursday night. But then I was like, oh, I'm just going to go home after work. So I did that and I went to see it this afternoon. Uh, so it was just okay. I didn't care for it. I wouldn't rush to go to the theaters to see it again. And I probably won't watch it when it comes on streaming. It comes out on streaming. But if you do want to see it, I would say you can wait for it to go on Disney Plus or Max. I don't know. One of those streaming services. Anyways, I would give this movie two stars uh you know it was an enjoy i i enjoy myself watching it i just didn't care for it so i will give it two stars i do wish there was more action there was barely any 
It was just them running away from that guy. Um, so for me, they get two stars. Anyways, if you've seen Madame Web, comment down below and share your thoughts. Did you enjoy the movie? Do you think it's the worst movie of the year or ever? Comment down below and share. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe to the channel. I post videos every week. I post movie reviews and New York City content because that's where I live. So make sure to subscribe and join my growing community. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.